Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to export a GoDaddy website in 2024. So today, we're exploring how to export your website from GoDaddy to wherever you want. Whether you are moving to a new hosting provider or simply you need a backup. Exporting your website is a crucial step for you. So in this tutorial, we'll guide you through the steps or the process of exporting a WordPress site as an example from GoDaddy. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you. You can use whatever you want. Then you will need to log in into your GoDaddy account. To do so, go to the shadow section, type godaddy.com, hit the enter button. Once you do so, you'll find yourself on the home screen or main screen. So if it's your first time, you'll basically find yourself on the same screen, but you'll find, as you can see here, a sign-in option. Click on it. Of course, if you have any problem in language, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page. Here, you'll find language, and you'll be able to change it to whatever you want. For example, just choose English, and it, the language will be changed. So here an example, if you go and click on sign in, you'll be able to click on sign in to sign in into an account if you have an account. And if you don't have an account, of course, you'll be able to create a new one. You'll be able to create or log in into an account using Facebook, Google, or even email if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. For me, I'll just go to my products, first of all. And of course, for you, make sure to do the same. So now, once you go here, normally you'll find the websites that you have. So as an example, I have here, I guess, two websites. So let me just go to this one. Let's see this one as example. And yeah, let me just wait for the page until it loads correctly. So of course, I'll need to pick a plan for my site, etc. because the free trial ended on it. So I'm just here seeing, as you can see. So here, that's going to be my website. You can see you have all the access to it, domain, websites, etc. So that's the dashboard. If I go here to the website, as you can see, to get started, I'll be able to improve my size, grow my audience, and a lot of things. Here, I'll be able to click on edits as an example to edit anything about my website. Because uh, before like trying to export it, you would like to uh, edit anything about it that you're still not sure about, as an example, or something like that. Maybe as an example, I don't know, I'll remove this picture or something like that. So depending on whatever you want. Do whatever suits you, edits your website however you want. And that's let's say, as example, we're done, of course. Here, editing, of course, you can go to next step. You can even hire an expert to help you uh, personalize your website however you want, especially if you're not good at designing. And of course, after you finish, you'll be able even to click here in settings and basically edits all the things that you want about your website. And once you're done, of course, you can simply just go back to the dashboard or close editor and the changes will be saved right away. So as you can see, of course, next steps, make sure to finish everything about it to get started and until you finish this whole bar. And of course, you'll be able to publish it however you want. But as we said, we would like to export this website. Let's publish it, not edit it, not anything else. Of course, you'll be able even to browse between your websites here. If you have like multiple ones, you wanna like do that. So the first thing that you would like to do, of course, is We'll need to use, of course, the website's migration service. Uh, what's about that? What's website's migration service? Of course, I'll just go into like GoDaddy to show you exactly what it does because they explain it's good. So godaddy.com slash help. And I'll just hit the enter button. And once I'll be taken here, I'll go here. And as an example, I'll just type uh, download. So download your websites as simple as that once i do so as you can see i should find here okay just do just do my of course this one and this one and here as you can see normally you should go to the product page once you go to your products page just next go to website security and backup and select manage all for me, of course, I don't have that because I don't have any plan. But for you, make sure to just go into that. And once you do so, go and click on Manage. Then click on Backup. Then click on Details. And from there, you'll be able to download the backup. And of course, you can download all files or database. And you can select and download to download it. 
too so you can import it on any other website that you want and you can view or download backup content with those tips also this if you want to download this of course to export it wherever you want and this as an example showing you how to use websites backups a whole video is an example about it so as you can see i'll not play of course the full video i'll just show you some uh, things about it. let's see if they even show some images so it seems like they didn't, don't show like the exact things but they explain here everything about it so you'll be able to re see this video and then understand how to use the web website's backups and of course from that you'll be able to export your website as an example you can even type here export uh, websites as an example and see what articles we'll find so as you can see a lot of things here even some videos an example you'll be able to see a lot of pages so just go and look for whatever you want and you will be able to find this as i said because for me i don't like have a plan of course for you if you get your plan you'll be able to get a lot of uh, options and from that of course you'll get even security and stuff so you'll have access to it here once you have access to it you'll be able so as an example, let's just say this is a security accessor. I'll just click on manage. Once I click on manage, of course, uh, let me just wait for the page until it loads. I'll find backups option. So as you can see, they take me back into my websites. So normally, uh, if I go to security, I'll find backup option. Once I click on it, I'll be able to back it up. And once I back it up, I'll be able to go and download that backup. Of course, other than that, uh, you'll be able even to, if you have like a WordPress uh, or your GoDaddy websites through WordPress, you'll be able to go to your uh, simply WordPress dashboard, click on backups and click on create a backup now, then export your uh, WordPress database. Also explore your WordPress files and package, of course, your website files and database, and you'll be able even to import your website to a new host if applicable. And yeah, that's going to be it. So there you have it. You successfully exported your WordPress website from GoDaddy. Whether you are migrating to a new host or keeping a backup, you now have the old necessary files and database. So stay tuned for more tutorials. And I hope you like this video. So make sure to leave a like down below. That's going to be it for me today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.